What's up guys? So, today I want to talk about something I see a lot from lower level people, um, you know, elite smash people slash quick play people, particularly playing Sephiroth, so I'm going to focus on him as an example, but just generally bad things that people do, and it's all going to boil down to the idea that they give away what they're going for really, really easily. This is just one of those things that like, I fight people online and I just start standing there waiting for things because it's so like, ah, oh, you keep doing this one thing and I keep punishing it. So. There's a few things Sephiroth players do a lot. One is to do like this. They're like charge up B from like whatever, like here, or wherever's gonna hit the opponent. And it's just like, we're in neutral, bro. We are playing a nice neutral right now. You just wanna skip it with a move that's very punishable. Like, this move is very bad on block, by the way. Like, super punishable. And I see this a lot, or I see people like do this to maybe like go for an edge guard where they're like off stage and they're like this. But they're doing it versus a character with, you know, good air stall, so a floaty character, character with multiple jumps. Pretty much just they'll do it all the time, as opposed to thinking, hmm, can the opponent avoid this easily? Because, you know, a good player is going to see this and go, oh, I'll just wait this out, you can't really mix me up, maybe go for like a suicide up B, and, you know, depending on the situation that may not be good, you know, maybe do a fast up B, but can't really hit you there. And I just see this a lot where they kind of give away their intention, both with using a slow move, but the positioning. If I'm playing a step forth player, right? And they're off stage, and I'm like, all right, they're here. Oh, they're here. Oh, they're like going super low, right below the ledge. I wonder what they're gonna do. Or similarly, if I see a Sephiroth player doing like this. So I, I wonder what you're gonna do. You're charging side to full screen. I wonder. Or like, I see you like jumping like here. I wonder what you're waiting for. Probably wait for a perch so you can side beam me, or maybe do like a forward air. And then you give yourself away really easily by like playing at certain ranges and picking certain positions. Especially when you start using the same option like twice in a row, three times in a row. I'll see that as well, where someone does like the same option because it doesn't get punished, but doesn't do anything for them, and then do it again, and again, and again. And it's like, uh, all right, bro, I don't know what you're doing, but okay. Another similar thing I see a lot is when someone's full hopping. I'm not gonna make a separate video on this, probably. It should be a short one, but basically, the idea is when you're full hopping, I can react to what you're doing a lot better. So I see you like here. I wonder what you're gonna do. I wonder what you're gonna do, right? It's either back or side, but there isn't much of a mix up. Whereas like if you're here, you could like jump over the nair, you could like jump in and your back, you could side B, you know, you can even go for like a first option, a dash grab, a dash attack, you can forward tilt, like you're here, you have more mix ups. Even here, you can choose to move forward and like apply those mix ups. You can choose to move backwards. But when you're here, you don't have these mix ups, you're kinda just hoping, you know, your opponent makes a mistake. It's just like uh, one of those things where it's like I see Particular Sephiroth players to do this a lot, that'll do this. Someone's a legend just go like, oh, I'm gonna charge a droopy. And it's like, you might catch them, but once again, if someone like knows how to like kind of slay their recovery time or whatever, or some Sephiroth players are like this, they go for the downer, but they like make it obvious. They're like, okay, roll in. I wonder what you're gonna go for. Huh, are you gonna downer? I guess you are. Or you're floating here, or you're just like double jumping here. You know, they just a lot of times people make it too obvious. And this is also a situation, especially you could like bait someone out. You could be like rolling here and then like run off fair. Or like roll here, jump, and then run off fair, run off counter, whatever. So just those little things where it's like when you give yourself away with an obvious option, a good player, one of the things that makes them good is to avoid these kind of options, right? So you want to be very careful to not do that. Even if it feels safe, even if it feels like, oh, you might get it, it might work. You know, sometimes it's, that's the case. Sometimes you go for like a two frame option, it might just work, whatever. But a lot of times it isn't the case, but I see people of a lot of levels just kind of doing that stuff. I hope this was a helpful video. I know I focus on Sephiroth's perspective, but hopefully the ideas make sense as like a concept. But also, I want the rag of Sephiroth players for maybe being the most brainless people on Elite Smash. Sorry, not sorry.